All right, welcome back to Twin Cities Live. You know, yesterday on this very show, we took you to a farm that hosted a dinner for 150 people in its fields. Well, today we're visiting a different kind of farm. This place is all about the little ones. <laughs> here there aren't any desks, computers, smart boards, or even books, but these kids are in the middle of non-stop learning. This is my second home. This is the children's farm school. They, they all look very close. Parenting expert Jenny Hanlon regularly delivers advice on raising kids on Twin Cities Live, and this is where her love of teaching started. I came here as a young child at age four um, and started biking up here at 13 to help with the summer programs and just knew I was destined to be a teacher. The person who inspired Jenny, Nancy Jones. So this is the lady behind this whole place. I mean, she is the heart and soul. What I keep hearing about you, Nancy, uh, is that you're running this show. And uh, you got to tell me about the motivation for opening up your home and making this a place where tons of kids can come. We had our own children. They were three and five. They were playing here on the farm, learning things. Our friends were all driving their children to some school or other, and we thought, our kids are learning a lot here. Then they would all want to come here, our friends, and so we finally thought, let's just have the school here. Nancy and her husband turned their home into the children's farm in 1975. It's a licensed preschool during the school year, and kids like three-year-old Lauren and her mom, Nikki, are taking today's parent-child class this summer. We love this place. Um, for people that live in the city, it's fun to be able to come and do the farm right now. We picked purple beans. Lauren, what are those? Beans. Did you find those yourself? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mommy. Mommy did. She did. Now, would you like to eat those beans? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no? We'll see about that in a few minutes. Along with bean picking and other garden work, the children conquer their fears by climbing the hayloft. They haul hay in wheelbarrows and take care of the livestock. We have four horses, maybe five, uh, a calf, a steer, uh, a lamb, three sheep, goats, rabbits, chickens, chicks. Um, sometimes we have kittens. They're learning about animals. They're learning about growing things. They're learning about what a farm is about. But more than that, because these are young children, we think they're learning to be inquisitive, to have wonder. They're learning to help. They're learning to be competent, capable. People. Kids like Dylan are learning to work with others, even if he encounters a little conflict while digging holes in the garden. A mean girl put more sand in it. Well, that, that is life, my friend. There will be mean girls until the end of time. It's terrible. Colin Lambert interned here in college. She loves the farm so much, she drives her five-year-old to Lakeland Township all the way from Eden Prairie, just so Gwendolyn gets the same experience. So what kind of things do you think she's getting out of this place that she might not otherwise get at, I'm sure, your lovely home in Eden Prairie? Uh, confidence is the biggest thing, teaching kids that, you know, I think a lot of kids feel like they're just, they are little creatures that need to be cared for. But when they come here, they learn that they can do the caregiving and they can take care of the other animals. So what I keep hearing from parents here is this idea of learning where food comes from <laughs> is so important to them. Yes, yeah, it's been a different experience for her. We don't have a garden or anything at our house. So as far as she knew, food came from the grocery store. So seeing where it grows and kind of she's been really curious and asking about all the different plants. What do you see when kids connect with their food and where it comes from? Well, we'll see. If they all eat their beans today, that'll be a good <laughs> You gotta get those beans cooking real soon, so. Remember Lauren, who said she wouldn't eat the beans she harvested? It's good. She said it's good. She likes it. Well, turns out when those beans are cooked up and topped with a little melted butter, they aren't so bad after all. Does this ever happen at home, Nikki, that she wants to eat beans? No. It's aha moments like these that keep these children, their parents, and Jenny Hanlon coming back season after season. And seeing how they can walk away feeling like, I did that, I grew that, I, I did that. It's very cool. It is such a fun place, John. I mean, seeing the looks on these kids' faces is unbelievable. It wasn't staged, nothing like no. that. They were actually eating their beans. They were eat I didn't yell at them and demand that they eat their okay. beans. They and actually, they were going up for seconds. I mean, they were all about it. And the parents were just sitting there looking like, my kid will never eat this bean at home. And here, it's amazing. So here's the deal. The Children's Farm School, it's not a public place. Nancy and her family live on the farm. And you can sign up for classes. There's a serious demand. It can be tough to get into the classes. but. 
I say be persistent because uh, it, it is worth it. What a great experience for kids. And uh, if you can't get to the children's farm, there are some ways to bring the farm to you. And Jenny Hanlon is back with us in our studio to show us how to hey. do it. Nice hey, to Jenny. see Thanks for you. Me here. Oh, it's great to see you. Okay, we found out some really fun themes when we were out with the kids. Yeah. And, uh, and really, you saw all the kids digging. Yeah. And they are actually using the tools to do something, right? Definitely. And he, at the children's farm, we have the tools not as toys, but really as tools. Right. Um, you saw the shovel being used down in the garden. Great way to get kids excited about um, gardening before they actually start so they can play in there. Um, and you did see some wheelbarrows as well going with the with the hay. And that's a great thing to use at home. You can use this in a sandbox, the shovel. You can use the wheelbarrow to have your kids help with some um, gardening or yard, um, yard projects. So you think yeah. even though like kids have this stuff as toys all the time, mm -hmm. right? A toy shovel. Yeah. But you think when you're doing a project at home, you should say, get your wheelbarrow and don't just yeah. play with the wheelbarrow off to the side help me with yeah stuff. well and especially like with this shovel it's a metal shovel so if you had a bunch of kids just playing with that in the yeah. sandbox it could be dangerous so that's why we do keep our toys separate as as tools mm -hmm. then and the wheelbarrow could be used for to playing as well but it can be used for a job oh, as well pretty good. Yeah. okay we'll talk about easy planting for yes. kids and getting yeah. involved in actually yep. planting some stuff. Yeah, so the, it's really not too late in the summer to do some um, lettuce planting here. We have some dirt. Um, you can have your kids plant some some lettuce seeds still. They would still still grow. Yeah. Um, and some radish seeds. These are um, types of things that just grow pretty fast. They you're going to see, yeah. So yeah. you would still see results. You can have them bury it. Imagine this in the ground. And do you think you can get the same results that you had at the school where they were harvesting things and then the kids actually want to eat it? Do you Definitely. get that same Result yes, at home? definitely. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and and I think when they when a child plants something and they have a chance to tend to it and water it and watch it grow and harvest it, they're so so excited to <laughs> to eat that. And that's what we what we want for All right. them. What did you do to those beans? Well, she's got a couple more yeah. things to plant that we want to get. Oh, quick here. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Ideas. Other yeah. planting ideas. Just because we are late in the the summer here, um, but you could do some bulbs with your kids mm -hmm. this this fall. Um, another cool thing to do with them this winter is plant them inside your house, you know, get a big bin, it could be smaller, yeah. um, and plant them this winter and then you have um, them growing in your house in the in the uh, winter time. Yeah. Another thing is potatoes. So thinking ahead to next spring, um, you want to cut the eye. You wouldn't just get this at the store, though. You'd want to go to to a gardening store. Yeah, you want to. And this is kind of cool for kids to know. You plant the eye to the sky and dig it in d down. And when kids dig out potatoes, that's pretty cool. For and they them can to plant that. that now and then. They no. This would be next spring. Next yeah, spring. Yeah. Is yeah, what yeah they waiting until spring. Okay. But just it's such a neat thing because so many kids are harvesting or so many people are harvesting their potatoes. Now, now can we so. get to the tasty now, beans? Yes, sorry. Yes. Yes. We're on yeah. the beans, Sir Jenny. All right, yep, thank you. Okay, John, over. first, while, while we talk here, you have a job, John. Oh, okay. What you're going to be doing, maybe right here, okay. so people can see, what you're going to do is take the ends off, put yeah. them in here, <laughs> and then you can just leave. leave These are them things there. that are perfect for little hands. Exactly, to do. yep. Or yeah. and so, hands. Right, exactly. Both ends. And so, yep, you can just take off both ends, something that's very easy for children to do. We have some cooking here now. And then these, I just cooked a little bit ago, and you probably saw in the segment that um, Nancy was adding in some butter mm -hmm. to that. And when the kids see you, doing that in front of it, they see, oh, great, it is going to have some flavor. <laughs> I know I like butter. Um, and so you want to do that right in front of them and then right, um, you know, add a little salt in front of them this too. this way you can be like, if you don't do your homework, you're going to yeah, eat no, the no, 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 beans. No, 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 <laughs> no. Give you as the soon as you throw that in though, they're no, not going to eat it all. But no. you know, another thing, with, I, I brought this pan on purpose because a lot of people don't realize this. When you're cooking with children, using an electric skillet like this is actually going to get them more involved than if you have it up on, a, on the stove because they can get around it. Say you had oh. two or three children here, they could have a oh. stool and up here. Um, when my children were three and four, this was how we cooked almost everything Jenny, so they could be involved. Thank you so much. Yes. Thanks yes. for introducing yes. us to yeah. the done. farm. We had thank so you. much fun. Thanks for coming out. And good you job, can John. throw them in here, John. Great. Great. There you, you go. You can go to TwinCitiesLive.com because we have more information on the children's farm and a link to Jenny's website. We also have a link to pre-order Jenny's book. Oh. Big news. Congratulations. It's called yeah. Your Family Compass, a parenting guide for the journey, and it comes out on October 13th. All right, coming up on Twin Cities Live, BT from Cities 97, plus a five-